Today's video will be about how to set up your transmit level. This is very important. If you do it wrong, you're going to create a lot of distortion and take up more of the bandwidth, more of the frequency spectrum. If you've been receiving PSK, you've probably seen clean signals as well as dirty signals. The dirty ones are wide. You'll see lots of vertical lines on the screen. Perfect timing. Open up my QST here the other day, and in here is an article on page 50 from Steve Ford titled The Skunk at the Digital Party. And here it is. And basically, what this article describes is how to set up your transmit level. And a lot of people have been watching their power output levels where we really need to be looking at the ALC, the automatic level control indication on your your transmitter. Many people seem to think that a high power PSK signal is a dirty PSK signal. Ex that a high power signal uses excessive bandwidth or you will be seeing the multiple vertical bars on the screen. This is not true. You can have a very strong high power PSK signal and still have it very clean. The dirtiness comes from when we overdrive the transmitter. We're feeding in too much level and it's causing distortion within your modulator within your transmitter. And then the radio just amplifies that and you'll see that out on the bands. You can have a very poor signal at 5 watts or a very poor signal at 100 watts. You can have a very clean signal at 5 watts or and a very clean signal at 100 watts. What you'll see though in your waterfall display as you're receiving a PSK signal is when a signal comes on with high power you'll see the display kind of dim out. And I'll hopefully show you examples here as I go along. What's happening there is that the strong signal is affecting your AGC, the automatic gain control in your radio and it's basically turning down the RF level so a weak signal may completely uh, go away. So this is why it's nice if everybody in the PSK area of the band runs moderate to, to low power. You don't need a hundred watts. In fact I was copying a signal this morning. A fellow was in Michigan running an FT817 with a dipole antenna in his attic. And I was receiving that fine. You know, we're almost what 1500 to 2000 miles away. Um, the problem I had was that when somebody else within my passband started transmitting that was real loud would force my receiver to turn its gain down and I would then have poor copy on the QRP station. So what we need to do is set the transmit level correctly and we're going to do, show you that with some experiments here. I'm going to use my FT817 that we've shown before. It's a nice simple radio. I'm going to be transmitting with that. Hooked up to that I have a cheapy little Radio Shack watt meter because I want to, we want to watch the indication between power output and ALC. Connected on the back of the watt meter is a dummy load so I'm not radiating all of this out while we're doing the video. Keeping it all here in the shack. My interface is a very simple just a cable which is going between the radio and the computer. Okay, you want to have, uh, we're going to use DigiPan here that we've used before and since we're going to be sending the transmit drive I want to go to configure and bring up transmit drive and this is the uh, audio control panel and we'll be dealing with the volume control uh, settings as well as the wave here. Okay, on your radio, when I'm using my AT, my FT817, you want to bring up your ALC meter display. So I need to find that. Okay, here it says ALC. You know, every radio will do this different. We don't want to be looking at the power out, we want to look at the ALC. And what we're going to do you can see them both here at the same time is watch the relationship between the LC and the output of the radio. Now in DigiPan, if we go to mode here, open that up, it has a tune. So if I click on that, it'll put the radio in the transmit. And I'm going to 
bring up the volume of my TS2000 so I can hear it transmitting. You get this box here that says tune your transmitter then press OK to turn it off. So give that a try to make sure you're keying up the radio. So you need to have that push to talk interface going. So if we go back into transmit again, tune, and bring up the panel here. I'm going to use the controls here to vary the level of the audio. You can hear it going up and down. And you play around with these. Yeah, you don't want things set at maximums. You want to stay in the linear range, so you don't want to be maxing out anything. Let's go and turn that off. Okay, we now have a close-up here looking at the front of the radio and the watt meter power output of the radio. So I can see two things at the same time. You, you can do this with your radio too because it has a typically a power out scale that you can switch between different things. So we have the radio on ALC and we're looking at power up here. And you'll see a little bar graph. Now I'm going to just click on the TR instead of the uh, tune function. So this puts it into transmit and it's going to send out the PSK signal as the instead of the one tone. And here's the tune. You can hear that. That's a single tone versus and you can hear the PSK shifting. So we're actually sending out a PSK signal, just basically idling. And I'm running the volume control here on the transmit drive up and down. And you can see the ALC drop slowly. And there's a power up. Now maximum power is right there, right at the basically the edge of the beginning of the red. But what you can't see here is that right there is maximum power and I can keep pushing the sound level up you, but you can't really you know I'm not getting any more power I've reached the maximum of the radio and the way you want to run your transmit level is just back it down a little bit and in, in this combination you can see the ALC is maxing out there's all the digits down here and if I just bring this down a little bit I backed it off and I have backed off my power. Let me take my radio out of transmit for a second. So what this means is that we're not running up against the maximum power output of the radio and that we're back operating in the linear part of the transmitter which is where we want to be. Okay we're looking at the waterfall display on DigiPan on my main shack computer which is being fed receiving from my TS2000 and I've shifted the audio tone up so you can hear it as a higher pitch but something I want to point out here is this IMD number that we see on the DigiPan receiving display this is intermodulation distortion it will show a number here in DB of your distortion level. If you have a number that's close to zero, you have a very poor signal. The um, texts and the helps and such say that what we want to try is something to get in the order of a minus 20 to minus 25 dB or better IMD. And so let me put the radio in the transmit and this will all be clear. There's my PSK signal, and there it is showing my IMD of minus 26 dB. And the camera's picking up, you can see the sidebands, these little lines off to the side here. And it's actually um, not really a problem here because we're at we're at minus 25, 26 dB. So that's a very clean signal, and those lines are very very faint. You're always going to have sidebands. Now let me, and we're running on the radio here with no, L, no ALC line shown and at about um, a watt out. Now as I bring up the level, I now have about two watts and one ALC. You can see I'm still at minus 25. Uh, right there is three three bars. I'm still at minus 25, about a watt and a half. 
pushed up to four. More like two, two to three watts now. You can see my IMD has dropped to minus 23. That's fine. But push it up to four bars on the ALC. Probably about five watts or four watts. You can see now I'm at minus 17. And you can see the yellow lines to the side are getting brighter. I'm going to push it right up here to five. And I'm just going to keep pushing the audio level up on the the computer and you can see those all those lines going out there this is my intermodulation distortion products are minus 11 db so that means if I'm running 5 watts the power in those lines is 10 db down which is a half a watt if I was running 50 watts those those um, the sidebands would be out at 5 watts which is going to be very copyable so we don't want to be running that way we want to drop the audio down so I just start to back off on the power back off on the ALC you can see the intensity of those lines have dropped off and my IMD is back to the minus 22 range just how we want to be operating when somebody says you have a wide signal or you have using a lot of bandwidth this is what you're doing to the air which means you, somebody right next to you can't carry on a PSK conversation a clean signal which is what we want to be we want to just drop so we drop off the power drop the level until the power starts to drop or ALC and my IMD it's in the minus 20 range hook my main antenna back up to the radio now the IMD will only show up when you're not trying or when you're not typing so here's some signals everybody's transmitting at the moment you can see in the space that I was well my distortions were very wide here we have four PSK conversations going on I'm trying to find out ah, here we go his IMD is about minus 22 minus somewhere in the minus 20s there so he has a clean signal so I hope that's helped to explain how to set up your PSK or any of your sound card transmit levels you could be using MMTTY for teletype, MMSSTV for slow scan some of the other um, programs that are out there so what you basically you're doing is making sure you're not overdriving the transmitter so you watch your ALC and your power output some radios respond differently the FT817 likes to have a couple ALC bars shown some radios you don't want any ALC indication um, so you can also watch your power you know run your audio level up until the power maxes out and then drop the power back and then you're in the linear range. You can also then use your power level control on your radio for your transmitter to turn the power down. Remember, PSK and a lot of these signals are constant amplitude, constant carrier. It means your transmitter is running 100% for the whole time that you're transmitting versus a much lower duty cycle if you're just using sideband uh, with voice. So. Uh, you probably want to turn your radio down to half of its power or maybe even to a quarter of its power and again you want to keep the radio running in the linear mode so you set your you bring your audio level up until it stops increasing and then you back it off until the output drops and you should be running clean then uh, when you're if you're new new with this with PSK uh, ask the station to look at your IMD number and then pause for 10-15 seconds so he gets a nice stable and he'll come back with a number if you're in the um, minus 20s you're fine if you get a comment that your signal is wide or distorted you know don't get all huffy about it you know you're using up more of the spectrum than you really need f for PSK or these other modes and just back your audio level back down and that will probably help and again work with stations on the air and they can tell you when you're clean or when you're not 
you know, we all want to be clean. We don't want to be taking up too much space and not have a lot of distortions and splatter and all this type of stuff. Um, I use a little program called Quick Mix. It's a real simple thing. I'll post a link over on the, the side here. Uh, what this does is allow you to save your sound card settings as a file and then be able to recall them. And I use this an awful lot because I can have a setting for PSK, a setting for RIDI, you know, if there are different things, different levels required, or maybe, um, you know, you've been watching a video and you've something's happened with your sound levels, so the next time you go to operate, um, they're all wrong again. So Quick Mix allows you to, when you get it running the way you want, store it and then you can recall it later. Hope this helps and hope to see you on PSK. You now know how you set up your transmitters so you're clean. Remember we're not tuning for maximum smoke like in Steve Ford's article. You just might want to be running near the limit and then back it off and then you probably want to turn your radio power down so you're not running your transmitter at full output for you know maybe several minutes while you're trying transmitting. Hope to see you on the air. Randy, T7AGE.